Hello everybody and welcome back finally to another episode of my Let's Play series. That seems really loud. Um, this episode, I'm not really sure if you've seen a lot of this already. I'm going to start by uh, just showing you what I've done because I've, I've already filmed episode 18 and my sound was off. So there's a couple things I built off camera. I'm not sure what's what. So uh, I've got a path started here outside of the castle so we can start working on this town soon. That's probably not going to be for a little while though because I've got to populate and finish the other town first. But here is what we've got so far on our actual castle. Uh, our front wall is looking nice. Our our inner our garden area or entrance way is basically finished. Uh, we've got to do something with the four corners there. Um, insides are done we gotta figure out what we're doing on the outsides and these come into here I'm not sure if we're gonna actually have doors here or not uh, we'll find out later we'll just see if we add them in uh, then we got our great grand hallway which is the floor is done and I've got the idea of what we're doing so that's gonna be our windows there's gonna be like that all the way around and then all the way down this side and uh, I'm not sure what kind of glass we're going to use. I'm thinking white stained glass because of how much bones we have. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the outside ground here come down a few blocks. So we're walking kind of below the glass all the way around it. And so we'll have to make that, like, we'll do a, have to do a lot of terraforming to make that work out well. Because we're kind of already on ground level. So maybe we'll have it come out a few blocks and then push out some water and have like a waterfall come down from over there but that's a lot later in the in this build because we've got a lot to do still all this roof I had an inventory full of oak wood oak logs and this is, that's all this is all we have done so far this the floors in there the floors in that building so let's go take a look at what we've got over here for this building so I've broke it off into four rooms on the first two floors just so we can like it's kinda like so people can stay here and then we got our our center staircase and we're gonna have to eat a lot during this little uh, walk through so our center staircase comes up into another four rooms and then we keep going up 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 to the top and this is we're just gonna put a fence here it's just gonna block off and this will be uh, just two bigger rooms. As you can see, the wall is going to be here, and you're not going to be able to get up here because the roof is going to be right here. I've started the roof already, so it's a half slab right here. It's going to go all the way along. Then we're going to have half slab along here. Full block, and it's just going to be like a staircase up. And then we got to see what I built last, well, what was supposed to be episode 18 where my recording messed up. So we come down here and we've got a little room to our nether portal. And then we go to the nether. I don't like how it always spawns me looking the wrong way. So here's our nether portal. Almost complete. we got to finish up this room, which just encases the portal. And we've got to get some more glowstone to finish up the actual path and then put in the rails. I'll probably just put in the rails and I'll finish this just off camera sometime once I go around collecting more glowstone or end up getting a villager that can actually trade me glowstone. So here's our path. I, I really like this design. This is the same design I used in the overworld um, portal or in the overworld uh, path or going from our old base to our, our main base. And this will take us back home which is somewhere we haven't been in a little while so this is back home I haven't done much with this place actually um, so the front room is still under construction because we don't have enough glowstone but I think what I want to work on today is finishing up this front room and starting our farm area because I want to start collecting uh, wool I want to start getting different colored wools together so we can uh, use them during builds when we need to. So I think that's what we're going to start with. We're going to start... I'm going to build a path out this way. And then uh, open up a, like a giant wool room. So we can collect wool of every color. 
we'll have a little pen for each color wool. So that's going to take a while to dig out. But we'll probably do that and then also I'll probably also try and get enough glowstone to finish off this room here um, off camera before we come back to this. So that's the, what we have done so far and I'll see you guys in a bit with an update and we can start working on our, uh, our sheep farm. Okay, that witch scared the crap out of me. Out of nowhere I just get poisoned. Oh, that was the loudest breaking glass bottle I've ever heard. So I'm... I'm here digging out um, what we're going to do for the sheep farm and so I'll just show you what I've got so far. This is where the door is going to be or where the door is and then we're going to have a little path just to get some distance from uh, our farms and our main base. So right here is going to be where our, our it goes from a little path like a closed path to a big open path I'm hoping. So this will be kind of open, this will be large, and this will be like a walkway with different walkways going towards different areas. So this main walkway comes to this five wide walkway which will lead to a door for the sheep farm, which is going to be right here. And what we're going to do for this is we're going to have five wide going down the center, five wide going down all the sides, and five wide, so five wide is going to be all the way around and then down the center of it. And then we're going to have a three wide path uh, going in between the uh, each and like separating each individual farm and the farms are going to be nine blocks by nine blocks so basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a nine block border right here so the actual inside will be a uh, seven by seven and if I do end up copying Nebris's design or using that kind of idea uh, by having water from underneath come out and down the actual pad will only be five by five for each sheep farm, for each individual sheep pin. So I'm pretty sure we need um, four, eight, sixteen different uh, pens. So one, two, three. I'll do that after. So this is uh, it's basically going to be separated into four sections. So it'll be one, two, three four pins here and then we have another one two three I believe let's just make sure this is nine two three four five six seven eight nine okay so this is gonna cut it off right here and that's gonna go all the way down so that is four pens in that corner and then we'll have four pens in that corner four pens in that corner and four pens in that corner giving us a total of 16 and I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Um, if we come back here you see I I started at the back here because I wanted it to match up with our main base entrance but I decided that that is not the best idea because then we're just gonna have um, a really long like all the length that we don't use from the back to the front we have to put into the uh, pathway up front so I decided to just go from the front and then we'll connect the back in some way. I don't know how yet. We'll figure out a way to connect it. But that is the first two. So let's see how many more do we need. We need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Okay, so that should be the path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this should be the last path right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. So what we'll do here is just so we so we know like that one two three four five six seven eight nine that should be there so that is basically all the paths so this should be five wide one two three four five so we want this to come out to here and that leaves us with how much room does that leave us with that leaves us with all this extra room to connect that with that. And that also gives us room for extra pens in case I've actually miscounted. Like if there's a 
let's say there's 20 instead of 16, we can just tack on one, two, three, four more on the back. Uh, but we'll figure that out before we go much further because that will decide if we if we flat out want to uh, put this into four different sections then we can uh, change this middle part here from three to five blocks so it'll be like let's say this is like your planes and these are like your bright colors then you can have five blocks here instead of three and I think what I want to do just to start off is actually build our first pen because our first pen no matter what is going to be right here right here is going to be pen one and we're just going to build out from this pen so I'm going to uh, hop into a creative world and put together exactly how I want this pen to be built and then we'll come over and we'll start working on it so I'll see you guys in a minute once I've got my design all planned out okay we're about ready to start building. As you can see, I'm cooking up a bunch of netherrack, trying to get some nether bricks. And I think we only need to really build like one or two of these off the start because we don't have a use for all the colors of wool yet. So if we just uh, build the first section, that should be good because it's going to take, um, what is it, around 2,000 nether brick to do all 16 of these the way I want to. So the first layer we're just using um, another brick for the outside and I probably should have dug this out beforehand. Yeah let me dig it out real quick. Ready for the cut. Okay I think I've dug it out properly now so we're gonna put in the floor here. Uh, we gotta go along this wall. Three, four, five. We're going to leave those corners for glowstone. And then this has to be like this all the way around. Like this, right? Where's the. Yep. Okay. So we got most of it dug out properly. <laughs> like that. And we didn't do this wall. I didn't have that planned properly. Okay. Four, six, seven. And this wall. So, the glowstone is going to be in two corner spots. It's going to go there, and then it's going to go right here, I think. Or is it right there? Crap. Okay. One, two, three. Right. So in the center here, we're going to have it coming, the block coming straight down on all sides because we are going to have ladders. And they're only going to be up to here because our actual platform is going to be one higher than this. We're going to have to put grass down up here. So we'll put down our blocks like this. Okay. And then, right. And then it's like this, which is why the glowstone goes there. And then our blocks go back in that back corner there like that. Right. So it's at the back in front in front and at the back like that the glowstone goes there to block those blocks mm, hiccups oops that's not where that goes and these we don't have many of so in front two three okay one two three one two three oh, almost done almost done and pop, 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 pop. Ooh, how are we going to get that? One, two, three. Okay, we have to go from over here to do it. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that was a Skype a request. A Skype friend request. What? Oh well. Okay. So there is most of this done. All we're missing is glowstone, grass, and a workbench. And the grass is not here right now. Where's my grass? All my grass is at the, the castle. So I'll run over and grab that. And I'll also grab the glowstone over there. So I'll be right back, and then we'll finish this. Okay, we are back, but I did die, unfortunately. I was up getting some glowstone. I pillared up, and then 
a gas shot at me and I wasn't paying enough attention. I couldn't hit it away in time and it blew me off the ledge and I fell to my death. But we got everything that was important back. Oh, great. So we're going to finish off this... Oh, we can't even finish it because I don't have... What's it? I don't have water here either. <laughs> I gotta go get a bucket still. Oh. But we got a lot of grass. And we got enough glowstone for this... For this room anyway. So let's make sure we don't mess up. Two... Three... Oh wow, I can't even place that, can I? Um, sure, we'll use this. There. So now all we gotta do is put the water in there and then get the sheep in here and we're basically done. We just have to also do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, I was thinking about like adding uh, more layer, more depth to this, but I'm, um, this is like a later thing. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it or not. Let me clean up right here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So I was thinking of making these fences not what, like just one block high, having like a little design in each of the things. Is this big enough? Uh, like this. Okay. So I was thinking of having it go like this and then come up and over and having a glowstone block right there. Do I have a glowstone block here? I do. Okay. But I feel like that's too bulky now actually that I think of it. Because if you have that everywhere, eh, forget it. Pick. Okay. So there's that done, except for the water, and uh, you can see how, how it's going to look. It's um, it's a little dark, but that's going to be fixed by the blue of the water and then the, the sheep in there. That'll bring enough color. And I'm also going to replace all of this with uh, grass as well. So we're going to have grass all the way through this place. Let's see. Yeah, so it'll be like green and then the darkness just, it'll be more bright than dark, which will really help make the uh, the cells pop. So I'm going to go fill this with water and uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, we can finish off our, our job now. I don't know why I needed two buckets when I can just, does that work? No, it doesn't because the water's not going that direction. So if we do this all over... Uh oh. You're gonna come down here? Yep, he is. <laughs> Ever since I opened up the new part of the uh, the base, I've been getting a lot of mobs because there's a... Um, what's it called? Oh, uh, uh, a mine shaft. An abandoned mine shaft running right across where, um, where we're digging. So there's a lot of black tunnels that mobs are just coming out of. I've almost died by a creeper around here already today. <laughs> I died by gas earlier. Okay, so there is all that. That really darkens up the uh, the room. Then let's just fill those buckets back up and put that back. You know what? That really darkens the room. Let's add torches just just for now. And then we come up. That should not be there. Okay. Grass it up. There we go. So there it is. There's our first, our first uh, sheep farm. And we're probably just gonna have four of each color sheep once we're uh, all said and done. So basically, we'll just drop down, shear them, collect them, hop out, go to the next one. I did try, I was thinking of using uh, sticky pistons and uh, slime blocks to like bounce out, but I couldn't figure out a, a way to do that too easily, so maybe I'll, if I figure out a way to do that, maybe I'll change some of them out for, for bouncing, 
ones. Is this right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, so I'll see you guys over at the quote wall to end the episode. Okay. Code 18. If you can't find the key to success, pick the lock. Unknown. I've got to find out who made that quote. I'm sure I can find it. Uh, the app I use doesn't have the uh, the guy, the person. I, I shouldn't say guy. The person that made this quote. So uh, if I find it, I'll add it in a later video. We'll, we'll find out who it is. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.